Good morning, Jay Silver with Helicon, and we're out here today in Lakeland, Florida, on beautiful Lake Victoria, where we're treating the soil behind a uh, wood retaining wall. Uh, we're injecting our permeation polyfoam into the ground to densify the soil and permeate to the wall to seal up different cracks and crevices along the wall. Um, you can see here the, the homeowner had a pretty large void or washout um, that we're, we're filling around and we're going to fill that up as well and soil will be put back on top. And uh, we're out here with, uh, with Renee and uh, Ahmed. Uh, Renee is our foreman on site. And what, what kind of do we have going on out here, Renee, and what are we looking to accomplish? We're looking to accomplish like serverless the soil and fill the voids that he has so he has no more erosion of soil. And most of all, you know, make the homeowner happy with the work that we're doing. Yeah, so Renee is one of our awesome team members out here today in Foreman, um, specializing in, in chemical grout and seawall permeation. And uh, we're going down, this is a, about a 64 foot wall. Uh, we're going down to about four or five feet and uh, doing upward staging, injecting the material as we go down. And you can see some of the, the points that we've already already filled. You can see the material coming up uh, to the surface. And uh, we'll go and give you a, a look on the back side of the wall so you can see how the material is coming out of the cracks and crevices and permeating along the wall and sealing it up. So let's kind of take a, take a look around the, the back side. So here's a, a good example. Uh, we had a point right in this location on the back side of the wall. And uh, as they went upward staging, you can see the material started to come out of the different cracks and crevices and, uh, and seal up to protect and retain the soil on the back side and prevent these voids that are happening on the, the back side of the wall. So, uh, you know, today we're on a, a wooden uh, seawall, a retaining wall. We also do a lot of uh, concrete seawalls in, in uh, different, um, different saltwater environments, freshwater environments. So no matter what the type of seawall that you have, soil stabilization behind the wall is critical. So if you see a sign, don't let the domino effect occur where you lose soil stability you lose the support to your dead man, and then the wall starts to shift, the cap can crack, and you may have to do a full seawall um, replacement. So I wanted to show you a, a, just a cool sign as we're pumping in the area. Um, Rene was just showing us when he's pumping here, you can actually see this St. Augustine grass rise up as we pump the product. Just another indication that we're filling all the voids and crevices and uh, protecting and building soil stability behind the wall. Feel free, give us, give us a ring, have one of our experts come out, evaluate your wall, and give you some options to get your soil back on solid ground.